Hello and welcome to another episode of Zed Talks, League Cast Fixes Champions. This week we'll be talking about LeBlanc, Lee Sin, Leona, Lissandra, Lucian, Lulu, Lux, and Lilia. Joining me this week is Nick the King Cooper. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, 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 and no Colton this week, but that's all right. Yeah. We'll, we'll crush through these. I actually don't think there's too many issues with these characters like just starting out. So Yeah, we're starting to hit the point of the roster where everything's like sort of balanced and there aren't too many problem children. Mm-hmm. But we'll give it we'll give it a good shot. Yeah, like uh, I think next week, like we'll have a couple, couple problem ones. I think characters Absolutely. like Malphite and Malzahar are like yucky, like yucky yucky. But uh, yeah, just right kind of outdated. I, yeah, exactly. Right now, I think we're fine. Like starting with mm-hmm. uh, LeBlanc here, uh, I really think. I mean, we've saw what they've tried to do with with her before, and that yeah. didn't go well. So <laughs> yeah, I, so I like the only change that I wish they would reemploy is, um, and I'm not sure if it currently works this way. I haven't seen a LeBlanc in a very long time. Uh, but I wish your clone would copy the abilities, like, cast. Um, I think that used to be her ulti, if I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'd really like just to see that as a baseline, like, passive change, I suppose. Just yeah, a, little I mean, bit, like, a little bit more deceiving, you know? Wukong's literally doesn't. It's, it's his double, yeah. right? Like, why can't her proc off her passive? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's true. I, I'd still keep it zero damage on LeBlanc, but I think I think I would add a little bit more to the uh, deceit aspect of it. Mm-hmm. And there's no situations where you wouldn't want it to cast, right? Because like, yeah, yeah it makes sense. Yeah, there's no, yeah, I, for sure. I think that's like just an easy thing. Uh, I also, I don't yeah. think she needs too many buffs either. I think she's a strong character. We've mm-hmm. talked about it a lot on the show where she's a character that your combo and how you use her scales with ELO, right? Mm-hmm. Like obviously your highest damage combo is QR, right? QR into like WE or whatever the fuck, right? I think that's um, literally the highest damage combo, yeah. Yeah, but no high level player lets you qr them mm-hmm. right you're not you're not supposed to be 500 range from for some from someone yeah. with a block uh yep. so like yeah you can do that at like bronze silver maybe gold but even getting to plat you probably can't do that so your combo becomes uh dashing in and then qe right like that's mm-hmm. that's your combo uh or sorry you're, it's dashing in then uh qre is like your combo like platinum like sort of thing and then when you start getting diamond your combo is uh dash dash but, qe yeah yeah, exactly. And it's like your damage like goes down a lot, but it's something that scales the DLO because people can play around your character. I think she's like pretty balanced around that respect. Like I don't yeah. play like high diamond mid, but like it feels like whenever I see a LeBlanc, she has to do that to do damage. No, I think so too. And I think the um the I the, the fact that we still see her in competitive play, even though her damage is potentially very low, it, you know, is, is quite um uh, quite telling that the champion is like pretty well designed. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I think, what was it? Uh, was it Caps at Worlds? Yeah. Or, or was it during the EU Finals who had the nasty LeBlanc play um, because he positioned well around Vision and uh, in a team fight and like single-handedly won that particular game? Yeah, she's she's a cool character. Like, honestly, like, yeah, she's... When she came out, I think she was too toxic for the game based on her mobility. Like, QWing as, like, a combo and lane yeah. felt too strong. But I really think with, like, power creep and stuff like that, she doesn't feel like that oppressive no i think she's i think she's pretty manageable i think she's pretty manageable cool uh like do is there anything else you would change like i think her q i think her q is fine i think her alt's fine i think her w is fine her e is like i i think it's fine like her passive like i think would make it better but i don't think there's any like negative changes to her i i feel like all of her abilities work great as mimic abilities and i think it's kind of like your narrow down to what you could change about her because you have to find abilities that could be mimicked right yeah yeah i think the only thing like that i think would be really interesting is um adding a sort of additional effect to the mimic ability so uh most similarly to uh seraphine um I'm, i'm thinking of you know if her e is if she's already rooted a target with her E, then her next E starts as a root, you know, extends that and then turns into a stun or something like that. But even that becomes like pretty toxic if you're able to, uh, she's already really strong and adding even more strength to those mimicked abilities seems kind of, uh, worrying at that point, I guess. You remember when her Q silenced? Yeah. <laughs> Christ. <dude>. Yeah. <laughs> That's insane. But I think she's, uh, I think she's good for now. Yeah, I think she's in a really good spot. Let's talk about Lee Sin for a little bit. I think yeah, you're the resident Lee Sin hater, but I think both of us will agree with the fact that you can't change his kit, really. Yeah, so his passive, I feel like, is sort of unnoticed, but where a lot of his strength is, at least in jungle clear. Um, and I'm I'm kind of fine with it. Um, 
that's fine. His Q, I don't think, can possibly be changed. His W can't possibly be changed. Um, his ulti almost certainly cannot be changed. Uh, so yeah. that sort of leaves his E. But even then, like, I'm not quite sure what to do with it, I suppose. Um, I I don't know. Like, as much as I don't like Lee Sin, I literally just think it's a damage issue. Yeah, I mean, like you were saying, like what his E does level uh, 100 damage level one now. Like, so the- yeah, with the patch that just went live, 1025, his E does 100 base damage at level one. Yeah, that's like uh, he's always had like damage issue, right? And the fact, I mean, it's weird because like he has had he has damage issues, but like he doesn't scale at all. Like he's like a yeah, scale. it's like his one to eleven damage is absolutely disgustingly insane, and then he's not he's no longer a problem. Like unless you're like, playing against a god like Lee Sin. His level 16 alt does 625 base damage plus 200% bonus 80. Like, mm-hmm. it's pretty easy to get his alt, like, to do, um like, easy, like, 900 damage, like, if not more. Yeah, I mean, if it's 1,000, you just need, what, 200 bonus damage? Yeah. To get it to 1,000 damage? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I guess a more punishing damage fall off for the amount of utility that he has, I suppose. I guess I feel like Lee Sin kind of does everything, maybe not the best, but he doesn't suffer in damage because of it. Um, yeah. So, so. like I, I've, I've always been an advocate that I think Lee Sin in like competitive games and in like high low, just in the game in general, is like really really good for the game because he's like super playmaking, and I think mm-hmm. that's super fun to watch. That being said, it's really easy to look back now and be like, holy fuck, the fact that Lee Sin's still playable when they removed like Ward is insane. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> It's crazy yeah so yeah uh, i i don't think there's too much to change about him though i think he's like a really like his kit's very well put together i guess no i think so too i think so too cool let's talk about leona though i know we're already seven we're only seven minutes in we're on the third <laughs> character but uh i think those we're first getting, two were we're getting for... some good ones we're getting some good ones um so really i think the only problem with Leona currently is her survivability is too high i think um yeah. And I, I was thinking about it. I really feel like changing her W to something more similar to Jarvin's would be a more healthy like game state mm-hmm. where it does give her a little bit more CC. Um, but Jarvin's W is a pretty crap ability. And Leona's, all of her abilities are pretty in- insane. Mm-hmm. So taking away some of that power, making her a little bit squishier, like I think is a really good thing. Um and like the only, I, I would also like to see some like some way for her to proc her own passive, whether that be like, um, she can only proc her passive on additional like ability hits. Yeah. So she wouldn't get full effectiveness out of it, but something that would push her, you know, and and, and not something that would terribly affect her her bot lane presence, right? Because AD carry is already proccing everything by itself. Mm-hmm. So, I think that I think that would be really cool. Yeah, I agree. I think that'd be really good. Um, I think, like, her ultimate is, like... I have no problems with Leon ultimate. I think it's a hard enough to hit ability for, like, the uh, duration for stun and stuff like that. Yeah, and it has it has enough reaction time that usually you can position around the stun at the very least and certainly flash away from it if you need to. Oh, for sure. Like, so. I, I think it's very hard to hit, like, raw, I guess, is the yes. way I would look about it, uh, yep. think about it. That being said, I think it's, like, yeah, pretty hard to hit as well. And I guess the 1.5 second 80% slow is still pretty strong, but, I mean, if you're slow in this game, there's enough mobility in the game that, like, slows shouldn't matter, I guess. Yeah, yeah. And a second and a half is not too long for an ultimate ability, I suppose. Yeah, that's fair. Um, her E is too fine. strong. I mean, like her, her only real problematic ability is like her W, right? Yeah, I I think for what she does, she is currently too tanky. Um, the swap to damage reduction, flat damage reduction, I think drastically helped with that. Um, so I I don't know, changing that to like a shield that slows in an area, I, I think would be fine. I guess. Yeah, or maybe even like, maybe even I'm I'm sorry to talk over you, okay. but like maybe even backloading the ability where she's not as tanky when she initially pops it, but she is tankier when it hits something and persists. Mm-hmm. So that way, like, 
I don't know. You, you're still really tanky, but you sort of have to predict when you need it. As yeah. opposed to just pressing it when you're next to someone. Is it crazy to have it like almost like not it wouldn't absorb people's armor, but like you'd get armor based on like the number of people that you're around, like sort of thing? Well, it's That's like pretty charging sick. Up. That's like, pretty sick. Like what if it charged up to that value if you're hitting like two or more people with it? I think I think that'd be good. Like that they're good. within the like I don't know. It just feels bad that like she can activate it, get forty like not even forty forty because she's building our burn matches. It's probably like more like eighty eighty by like late game uh, mm-hmm. sort of thing resists uh, and flat damage reduction. Yeah, yeah. And late and it game does it doesn't feel good too bad. Yeah, late game it doesn't feel too bad the damage reduction portion, but yeah. early game twenty four damage you know is a ton. It's so much. I mean, it's more of the fact that it's, like, pre-mitigated, like, so... Yeah, yeah. Knocking off the damage, then reducing it by, like, your crazy armor and magic that you got. Yeah. Like, yeah that's, that's the lot. insane part. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it's just probably, like, a little overloaded, but I also don't think you can just, like... Nerfing the flat damage reduction would feel, feel so bad, man. Like, what do you nerf it from? Like, eight to, f- to six? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. It almost has to be six, and then if that's too strong still, like, what, yeah, four? Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, she's just very strong right now. I think the rest of her kit's great, though. I think she's a character that's well designed. Everything's put together well. So, I think so too. I think so too. Let's talk about Lily. I think Lily is the first new character we've talked about on this show. She's a character that came out yeah. uh, after we started doing these. So, yeah, there haven't been too many, huh? Yeah, all the um, other ones are later in the alphabet. So, yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Um, I actually think current Lilia is pretty balanced. Um, I don't know if she received. I don't think she received any nerfs um, or or if she was particularly impacted by itemization changes. Um, I'd like to see her jungle clear reduced a little bit, mm-hmm. but that's like a, a numbers thing and not a, a, a kit thing, I suppose. Um, I, I guess from a kit perspective, I think she's, I think she's really balanced. That's yeah, crazy. She's received zero bug, uh, sorry, zero uh, nerfs mm-hmm. or buffs, like zero changes since her release. Yeah. But like, for, I, her kit, I think, is very fair. I, I literally just think it's like she clears the jungle too fast for how fast she is, I suppose. Mm-hmm. I do like sleep as a mechanic. I think mm-hmm. how easy it is to hit multiple people is like a little bit scary, but I don't think it's overpowered yet because like, it doesn't really do any damage. It's like, what, like 200 damage if you pop it at rank three? So Yeah, like it's, it's not too bad. It's mostly the CC. Like that's yeah. attached to it is, is pretty insane. And you can QSS both the sleep and the drowsy portion of it. So I, th- I think yeah. it's pretty fair. She's like probably has like a little bit too fast. She probably gets too much movement speed from her um Q passive. Yeah. But uh, I don't think it's like I, I, those are like hard number changes to like justify, right? Like yeah, I exactly. Don't know how much nerfing her movement speed from eleven percent to ten percent really affects it, right? I, I don't know those numbers, I guess. But mm-hmm. she does seem like she can go in and get out before you hit her while she hits her abilities pretty easily. Yeah, and, and ma- again, maybe one of those things where it ramps up. So you get, um, I don't know what the current numbers are, but um, maybe like two percent movement speed bonus for hitting one stack of your uh, of your passive, and then it it sort of like doubles from there to get to the current maximum. But so that way you, it's it's more of like a um, a, a, um not a linear but an exponential growth, mm-hmm. um, uh, to to reward you for staying at at you know maximum ranks and and actually staying in combat yeah but i like the way it falls off um i could see like if she takes champion damage maybe she loses a little bit of speed that's capped like i don't know one stack every two seconds or something like that Mm -hmm. but i I think she's she's quite fair from a a a kit perspective and there's nothing i really really want to change yeah, I do like hate that her passive is just fucking burn, but I don't think you can change yeah. that. Yeah. Like I could get easily have just been like a mark, you know what I mean? And like, given her a different passive, like that doesn't just burn cuz fuck the burn is like start, it's 5%. Like late game 5% hurts, man. Yeah, but at that point you do also have, you know, magic resist uh to to stop that. So yeah. it's I think current her current issue is its interaction with um both Riftmaker and Leandries. Yeah. Um where like one application of a uh of a dot is gonna give you max rift maker stacks, uh or procly Andrews like eight times. Yeah. But uh, that's more of an itemization thing where we currently still have the ability to stack demonic visage and Leandries. And her yeah. passive, which is so much damage. 
Yeah, it's crazy. I hate that like a uh, riff maker gets like procked off of DOT stuff so easily. Yeah, yeah. What can you do about it though? Yeah. Cool. Uh, next is Lissandra. Uh, and I, I think the champion Lissandra, <laughs> where we can like finally start talking about things that we could change. Yeah, I think Lissandra is the perfect champion to uh, to add brittle to her kit mm-hmm. in some form or fashion. Um, I think like CCing an enemy applies a stack of brittle for you know, and, it, and it's it's um it's got a cooldown per champion. I think that'd be so sick, like as a passive instead of yeah, so instead I of like summoning her... fucking like ice. <sighs> I like her current passive because I think it's stupid. Yeah, but I don't think it's good. You know, it's not. It's okay. It's good on Aram, and then it's bad on yeah. like every other map. It's just like you're hoping that people don't walk away from them. Like, yeah, I guess they maybe if they slowed more, it would be okay. But they slowed t- like twenty percent or something like that, and it's not that it's much. And the explosion is like enough. four seconds. Yeah, yeah. Um. So yeah, I think changing that to like, um, hitting a champion with CC applies brittle. I don't know, something like that. I would like that. I would love if her like abilities applied brittle. Um, or maybe her Q applies brittle, something like that. Yeah, I, I think it would make sense to be on her passive, though, right? Because brittle, I think, applying brittle is a strong mechanic. It is really strong. Yeah. Uh, and I think that's like strong enough just to like overwrite all of this passive. Like literally, it could just her passive could just be gives brittle. <laughs> uh, yeah. And it's like fucking yeah. probably stronger than her current passive. Uh and I, I don't know how it... Maybe it couldn't apply on her own abilities. Maybe it could. I'm not sure how that would work. Um, it probably shouldn't apply on their own abilities. But, like, having it so, like, it applies on, like, ally abilities would be so sick, I think. I think so, too. I don't I don't know if there's a ton of problem applying it to her own abilities. Obviously, she has a lot of CC, but it's only W and Q, right? Or W yeah. and ulti. I, I guess the way I'm looking at it, Nick, is that... So, like, Orin applies Brittle, right? But he has no abilities in his kit that uh, allow the brittle to increase stun duration, right? Because he has a knockup, which isn't which isn't affected by that, and he has a he has the two knockups. Two knockups, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. yeah knockups aren't affected by that, right? So that's why I'm thinking that, like, I'm assuming they purposely chose to give a character a thing that increases CC and then not give them abilities that are affected by it, right? For a reason. Hmm. Yeah. I would just assume that's the case. I could be wrong, but yeah, you could just have that's it like fair. so she could apply it, and then you could even like just lower her stuns by like a tiny bit. I guess that'd also be fine. Yeah, maybe to compensate for because obviously she gains damage with the brittle proc plus. Um, yeah. Uh, um, so so lowering the CC wouldn't be that bad. I don't know. I kind of like that. I, I like that she has two CC abilities. And in order to make use of her passive, she needs to spend one of them to set yeah. up the other one. Um, I don't. I don't think that's terrible. I suppose. No, I, um, I think it'd be really good. I think the only other. Oh man, I had another thing, but I can't remember. Oh well, I guess it's not that important then. <laughs> I I do think she's a character that should never have like be a high damage mage, though, right? Like she's built around yeah. the fact that she's like a a, a heavy CC bot. Uh, you don't want Lissandra one hitting people. I just feel like that's not good for the game. If she can stun someone for three seconds and then also kill them in that duration, it'd be bad. So yeah, I mean, then her combo becomes too reliable for too much damage, which is yeah, incredibly unhealthy for the game. I that that being said, I do think that's why she's not currently good. I don't think she nearly has nearly enough damage to be like a good character. Um, but. I easily could see a meta changing where, like, there's, like, really, really good junglers and you just need someone to, like, pin them down, right? Like a Malzahar-esque character. Mm-hmm. She's, like, a safer yeah, yeah. Malzahar in many ways. Yeah, I think she is a safer Malzahar, which is wild because Malzahar is already a pretty safe character. Yeah. <laughs> I Well, I think she is a more versatile Malzahar. I think she's, like, can be played top. I feel like she's always been able to be played top and people just haven't played her there as often. Like, her E is, like, actually just to get out of jail free card. It is, yeah. I think I, I think her damage is a little bit too low to go top lane, mm-hmm. um, and like stomp at least. But yeah, as yeah. as a gank setup, yeah, and survivability, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Cool. I think that's actually a good discussion for Lissandra. Yeah. I would love to see the map brittle. I feel like brittle is a mechanic that's def- definitely super underutilized right now. Yeah, yeah, and I and I I think thematically it makes sense on Lissandra a lot. 
who's yeah. already a, a like the CC mage and ice based. Come on. <laughs> yeah, super, super free. We'll give you that one for free, Riot. <laughs> Next is for one dollar, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for one dollar, please sub, sub to our Patreon. Uh, Lucian, I, I I actually don't think Lucian needs any changes. What I about think his it, W? Uh, I think he has to have a shitty ability like <laughs> like his W in order to compensate for his other abilities and the the effect that they have on his passive. Yeah, um, that's, that's what Kennedy and I were talking about. Is like he comparatively like once again in the realm of League of Legends, his abilities aren't that strong. In the realm of 80 carries, his abilities are very fucking strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, it's like his E does nothing except it's a tiny dash, right? Yeah. But it's so strong that you max it second. So yeah. I, I think like, yeah, within the context of both 80 carries and within the context text of Lucian himself, he's like super balanced and will, I think, always be problematic in solo lanes. Um. And I don't know if we will ever see Lucian bot lane again, but maybe that's like maybe that's fine. You know, we saw mm-hmm. Quinn bot lane for forever on her release, uh, and, and now she's a solo laner. So I don't know. Maybe that isn't such a bad thing. I suppose. Yeah. Huh. I I think yeah. His I mean like just like look at abilities that you can't change. You obviously can't change his passive. You can't change his Q. You can't change his E. You can't change his ultimate. Right. Then you're left with W, which once again like characters have power budgets, right? And yeah, four eighty carries that power budget obviously is much lower than most characters. Like yeah, mm-hmm. if you put his fucking what's his best ability? Probably his dash. Honestly, is his best ability. If you put his dash on the mid pool, like every character in the mid pool, they're probably worse characters with it. Uh, yeah, yeah. But in the but for eighty carries, if you give his dash to any other eighty carry, they're probably a better character. Uh, Absolutely, absolutely. With the with the like added in with the fact that he gets uh, like an auto that essentially does one hundred and fifty percent damage attached mm-hmm. to it. Like it's pretty sick, and reduces the cooldown of itself. <laughs> it's crazy. Nick, I know we're recording this instead of the main show, but I just wanted to like send you this and hear your live reaction really quick if you want to click on that. Oh, okay. It's a it's KSM's um, Academy roster. Sure. Hauntzer, Babeep, Sword, Cody Sun, Yersin. <laughs> wait. Wait, this roster's stacked, right? But why is Cody Sun on their Academy team? Why is he on their Academy? Why isn't he starting? <laughs> why isn't he starting? <laughs> That's so crazy. That's insane, actually. That is insane. That is insane. Sorry to to get away from... Uh, yeah, that's just insane evolution. that they just put him on their Academy That's roster. crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think uh, Lucian, like, needs much, though. Like, I mean, he's always been, like, a strong AD carry. He just can't be balanced for bottom line, I don't think. It's, it's yeah. a sad place to be. Yeah, but I, I think he has, like, enough... He has enough counterplay, I believe, in the top lane um, to make him, like, pretty fair. You, you survive his first, like, three to five levels and you should be fine. Mid lane, it's a little bit harder where you're not as tanky. Um, and I think inherently you don't do as much damage to AD carries. Mm-hmm. Which is weird, but uh, I think I think all in all he's pretty fine kit wise. He feels fucking buttery smooth to play, and I don't oh, think that should change. Ever since they did the change where um the attack speed increases your yeah or like, yeah 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 lowers yeah. your like ability. Uh, I think that actually is levels, if I'm not mistaken. Is it levels? It's only like that. I think so. I don't think I it think says so. anywhere in his like kit. That's like why I'm confused. But I think it was just like a yeah. back end change. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, they, they like made the animation time of abilities shorter based on either level or, uh, attack speed or whatever the fuck it was. I'm not sure. It's, it's probably yeah, level. It's currently based on level. Yeah. Is it written anywhere in his kit or no? Um, I don't know. Actually, let me click on him. Let's Cause I remember that. that change. I like, it, it's like honestly one of the like best changes they've made just to make characters mm-hmm. feel like better. Absolutely. Uh, it's not listed in his abilities like breakdown thing, but that thing's kind of trash, so it yeah. it might be. I w- wish it was. <laughs> wish there was like wiki integration in the client, but yeah. Cool. Oh well. Uh yeah, so that's uh, that's Lucian and then we're on to Lulu. What do you think about Lulu? I think Lulu is probably okay, maybe a hot take. I think she is probably the most well-designed support in the game that's what kennedy um, and i were literally talking about i don't i love every single bit of her ability i love that like all of her choice abilities actually feel like choices absolutely and there is 
usually not even a correct choice. Like yeah. it, it feels. I guess the only bad choice that she has is her E. Like you never want to misclick an E on opponent, right? When you when you'd rather shield instead. But yeah, like her yeah. polymorph feels like such such a like fun and like decision making ability that you would use as Lulu. It doesn't feel great to play against Polymorph, obviously, but mm-hmm. does it feel great to play against any CC ability? Yeah, and you're, like, choosing between, like, yeah, buffing your ally or uh, polymorphing, an, polymorphing an enemy. Like, that's, that's an awesome choice to make, and I feel like it's always, like, f- hard to decide, I think. Yeah, absolutely, because there's times, like, oh, I, I want to save this because it's an attack speed, move speed, you know, buff for my AD carry, but mm-hmm. I also want to put this on Maokai so he can run in super fast and, and W someone like, or should I save this for the ulting Samira? So we don't get one hit. Like it, there's so much versatility and decision-making in her kit. Um, and I think she is inherently always going to be pretty balanced from a kit perspective. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, because of the type of role she plays, I, th- I think like if this were a a tank character, she would be busted absolutely. But the fact that she's a squishy ranged, you know, support enchantress is, is fantastic um, for her kit. Yeah, uh, I also love that her. Um, so I do think that her probably the strong the weakest out of all of her choice abilities is her uh, attaching to an enemy. I guess to do damage. That being said, yeah, I think it has like enough use cases with the fact that it re- uh, reveals enemies. Uh, so like, I think so too. I I always use it like instead of a shield on like characters like a Kali. Like as soon as I can use it on a Kali or like a Wukong or something like that, I would much rather have vision mm. on them than shielding my ally. Yeah, that's a good point. Because it's four seconds. It's four seconds of like uh, mm-hmm. vision, which is insane. Like that's like you can easily track down a Kali and kill her in that time. Uh, and like Absolutely. it's not even. Not even the fact that you get to see her; it's the fact that she's not expecting to be seen, right? It's like so. There's colleagues that like you, that's a, like getting a rest period, like you go into shroud, but like if you're seen during that, like you don't have any way to react and get out in that time. It's so strong. Like I, I feel like it's super underutilized. I, I think it is just because the shield is usually pretty fat. I mean, it's um, fucking massive. It's sixty percent AP ratio, which is yeah. Insane. So seeing so seeing that, like, ooh, okay, wait a second, I shielded for like six hundred this time. Like it is pretty is pretty nice, but yeah, you're right. And the fact that you can you know position your Q off of it to get a potentially like five man slow for what eighty mm-hmm. percent is is like pretty disgusting. I think it has a lot more use, um, like use case in in lane than yeah. it does in team fights. But that's not even a bad thing. I think um, I, I I love her ultimate. I think her ultimate is one of the best support ults in the game simply because you can either save it for a teammate you can use it to follow up on engage you can you know uh use it to engage yourself i i think it's like super sick um uh, she is one of my favorite supports to play for sure yeah i I like i love using on like a malphite and ulting or something like that like yeah exactly like the Malphite's never going to die. He doesn't need that bonus health. But getting the double, like, knockup guaranteed, that's so much, like, uncounterable, like, crowd control. Mm-hmm. It's disgusting. I, it's good. I personally would not like to see anything change for Lulu. Um, I, I don't know how you would do that for for solo lane Lulu. And, and like, maybe that's problematic. Um, but I, I don't know. I, I think she's fine. I wouldn't change anything about her. If anything, like, so... Yeah, Solane is problematic in the fact that she just has, uh, like, she, I don't know, she's, like, super, she's impossible to kill, right? Like, with shield speed, polymorph, slow, poke, range poke, yada, 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 she's mm-hmm. impossible to kill. And just crazy wave clear with Q. Yeah, like, I guess, like, you could once again lower her, like, damage to minions, because, what, it's 70% or something like that, I think? Cause I think remember- they're actually changing it this patch, if I'm not mistaken. Um... Yeah, so it does more damage if you hit both bolts, um, and it now does seventy percent damage to minions. I don't know what it was before. Uh, I think oh, at oh, one it point, just does it just does less damage to minions. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. At one point though, it was like I was like full damage because I remember like when people would play mid Lulu, and there's that famous clip of I think it was Link like clearing the wave as Lulu with yeah. like one Q, like clearing like fucking twenty minions. It's like. Mm-hmm. 
I, they probably the reality if she keeps playing so being played so low, reducing that to fifty percent isn't gonna like break support Lulu, and I think it's fine. Yeah, exactly. You're not you're not using it for minion damage in support the support Lulu like role. I would know? much rather they like do that to make it so they don't have to gut any other any other parts of her kit to like stop th- solo. Yeah, I think so too. I think so too. Cool. Uh do we want to talk about our last character now? Yeah, uh, Lux. Just Lux, yeah. Um I think her ulti is unchangeable. Yeah. Um, I think her Q is probably unchangeable. Everything else I think could go. I like her E as well, though. Uh, I think you could do other things with her E. I think it could, like, uh, I, I guess it being just a weird slow field is kind of odd. I think it could be something that charges up kind of like a Gragas Q in a way. Uh, and I yeah. I would be yeah, terrible yeah. for the game. Uh, and I also think you could take her W in like a hundred different directions based on what they want to do with her. If they want her to be a support, it probably does need to say as like this cast out shield thing. Mm-hmm. But it could easily be like almost like a like uh, a spell shield type thing for her, like something that she casts on herself. You know what I mean? Like have like maybe multiple use cases if she wants to be a solo lane character. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like I don't like her shield. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's boring and really like. There's what it, what skill expression is there in her kit like with it with her W I suppose you you throw it out on cooldown late game you mm-hmm. know um I would love to see something more like mage lighty like mage of light sort of influence yeah. uh, added to it I I don't know like maybe a um like a well timed spell reflect or something like that uh, maybe you still take it but it reflects it back uh, or projectiles in general something like that. Um, but I, I don't know. I, I don't know. It's, um, not a boring shield though, please. <laughs> yeah. I, I just think it, it really depends. It definitely has to be something utility based if she's going to remain a support, but it could easily be something way more aggressive if she's going to be a mid laner. Um, yeah, I think, I think I'd like to see her move to mid. I think she's more interesting as a character mid lane than she is, uh, in the support role. Yeah. Uh, what do you, what do you think, Nick, about them making elemental lux or base and then having a fucking whole elemental system in her that'd be really sick with each Maybe element her w like, like is augmented by her by her ulti i was gonna say all of her abilities could be augmented by her like uh like it, it, i True, I think you'd yeah. either do it like she has to go to act a base to change element or like it could it could literally be like uh I don't know how you'd do it else other than that. I think you'd have to go back to base and probably change elements or something like that. It'd be like a potion that you'd buy or something like that. I don't know. Either way, like I think you could have it where every element has a slight effect on all your abilities. And I think yeah, that'd I be mean, fun. No, I think that'd be super fun as well. Maybe her W allows her to change. Um, so I kind of like the idea of locking her into certain like elements, maybe at 111.16 mm-hmm. um, or 611.16. Um, to augment your abilities in some way, and maybe your W sort of functions like old Katarina W, where, hey, for a little bit of time, your next ability will be like all of them, you know? Oh, yeah. Um, I think that would be really cool. Uh, but I, I really like that, actually, sort of running with the uh, the elemental theme. Yeah. Um, obviously, fire maybe burns for a little bit of extra damage. Yeah. Water can slow or provide more utility, like baseline. Uh, I, I like that a lot. It's pretty sick. I think it'd be cool if, like, <laughs> this, is, this is probably the most overpowered one, but, like, Light could have your fucking shield, like, uh, stealth people for, like, a second. Oh, yeah, that's probably okay, Oh, it's so right? fucking cool, though. It is really cool. I, I just, maybe, like... Maybe Dark I, does that, right? I, I was thinking, like, it would be, like, a Light thing, but, yeah, I think Dark could also be fine. If, if it was gonna be Dark, it could be, like, a Senna type thing, which is probably, like, more balanced, I guess, like, mm-hmm. to... But I, I just think there's so many cool things. I think you could gate it around, like, you get your first one when you're six, and you, like, uh, what if you had, like, uh, when you when you hit level six, you get one, you can, like, have it, so, like, you can, be, you can choose fire, and then when you hit 11, you can choose a second one, you can switch between the two, like, at base or something like that. Yeah. And then when you hit 16, you can get, like, access to, like, all of them. There'd be, like, six or something like that. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool. Well, I, I think that'd be fun. I just think it's, like, too much for the game. Like, but I, I just think there's lots of things you could do that are, like, way bigger in scope than we would ever, like, normally come up with. You know what I mean? So. No, I, I think so, too. That very reminiscent of a character in um, Dota called Invoker who just yeah. has, like, 25 abilities. 
Uh, and I think like putting that onto a Lux type character would be super sick. Uh, obviously, it doesn't change how her basic abilities like at it, at their core function. Yeah. Um, but I think it would be really interesting to see an augmentation like that, like that you can adapt. I suppose. Yeah. But that's sick. Cool. That's sick. And uh, that is the show for this week. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Next week we will be covering. Uh, let me pull it up. We're going to be coming the covering characters. the M characters. So Malphite, Malzhar, Maokai, Mastery, Misfortune, Mordekaiser, Morgana. Colton will probably be there. I think it'll be a good one. I think a lot of those characters do need work. I think the only ones that are yes. fine are maybe Misfortune, maybe, I guess. Maybe Maokai. Yeah, yeah. I, I think those two are maybe Mordekaiser. But everything after that, I think, needs needs a little bit of help. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We kind of know we were talking about Morgana earlier. I hate that like her W is just an ability that you use when your Q hits. Like <laughs> the fact that I, they I were, feel there they are some moved, there yeah. are some games where I don't even put a point in W, like a support Morgana. Yeah, because it feels it feels bad taking a point out of more shield strength for your best ability or more root duration for your second best ability. <laughs> yeah, it's so weird to me that they like kept her as a support but removed the uh mr shred on her uh w i think you could easily like Ooh. we'll talk about it next more next week but yeah. like my idea would be around the idea of like just lower the shit out of the damage on her w and like make it more of a shred ability why not mm-hmm. like a status effect thing yeah it's sick. like it's cool anyways yeah. that's the show this week thank you guys for all for watching uh next episode will be up sometime next month probably like mid-january uh thanks for watching bye thanks bye-bye